So today, what we're going to do, Rhonda? What we're going to do? We decided. Oh, well, we are. We're going to go mooching around, but we're going to go and try and find Portobello Road Market, which uh, is in. It's the street market that is featured in the movie Notting Hill. Notting Hill. So we're going to <laughs> Notting Hill today, and then for the rest of the day, we'll just see, do whatever we want to do. Uh, we've got nothing planned. We're just going to start mooching away, mooching around London. So let's go. I'm coming. We can't both fit in there. Yes, we can. <laughs> in the revolving door. Oh, it's going to get bright real quick. Yeah, and it's supposed to be raining today. This it's, is nice rain. I like this kind of rain. Yeah, this is not London weather. This is no, crazy weather. This is, this is the main road in front of Paddington Railway Station. And that's our hotel. Huge. Okay, we're gonna find first job of the day. We need to find a full English breakfast. We are starving. Yeah, starving. we're really hungry. And a little bit jet lagged, unfortunately. We are eight hours in front of our hometown time. So let's head this way and. Jump on a double decker. Yeah, double decker bus. We may do that afterwards, Rhonda. Maybe we'll go to Notting Hill on a bus. Yeah. Now serving breakfast. Either the tube or the bus. Whichever. I think we'll use the uh, bus if we can. Okay. McDonald's. Do you want to go to McDonald's? No. I want some British bacon. Yeah, exactly. Let's head down here. I'm coming back to this store later. I look want some at, scarves. Yeah, look at all the souvenirs here. Prices look pretty good as well. Yeah, they do. Oh, look at the masks. <laughs> oh, yeah. We can get a King Charles mask. Well, here's a little uh, breakfast place, Rhonda. English breakfast, £10. Yeah. I think we should just jump in here. Easy choice for me. English breakfast. What are you having, Rhonda? I'm going to have bacon, beans, and toast. Oh, there you go. Okay, and here's the breakfast. Let's see what we got. Yum. English breakfast. Both of us got an English breakfast. How about that, eh? Eggs, beans, tomato, mushroom, sausage, bacon, hash browns, and toast. Yum. Yum, yum. Well, that was a... Hey, Delicious. Very clean tasting breakfast, wasn't it, Rhonda? Yes, it was so good. Anyway, that set us up for the day for sure. Now we're gonna, I think, find the bus. We'll try and find a bus stop. So we can jump on a bus and we're gonna go to uh, Notting Hill. Now, we'll try and find a red double decker bus to take us to Notting Hill. So we found the bus stop and we're waiting for bus number 23. This is bus seven. Oh, 23 is behind. It's ours, Rhonda. Come in. This will be cool. That's not ours. Oh, we need this 23 behind. Oh, I hated that. There we are. That was a bit of a rush, so I couldn't uh, film us getting on. But we're on a double decker bus number 23, headed to Notting Hill. It was £1.75 each. So three pounds fifty for both of us. Which is pretty good, I think. There's the stairs. We decided to sit at the bottom just in case we need to talk to the driver because we don't know where to get off. But yeah, here's a London bus. And I made the rookie mistake. I tried to pay with cash, but these buses are uh, they don't take cash, it's card only. And when you have two people. It's our own uh, sightseeing bus, isn't it? Like it that? is. It's really nice. We don't need to pay for that hop on, hop off. We just no. jump on a London bus. And it came right away. We barely waited. We're almost at Notting Hill now. But we've still got three or four more stops. Hill Road. I just asked the driver. I said, stupid question, but do you stop at every stop or do we have to ring the bell? He said, no, if you want me to stop, ring the bell. So ring the bell. And it's right here. We're going to do that. 
Yeah, the bell's right there. Well, there's our bus number 23. We are at Notting Hill and we are going to Portobello Road Market, which apparently is just around this corner. Okay, the market's down here, I think. Duke of Wellington, that looks good for a beer. Maybe we should stop for a beer. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go in here. Let's go in the Duke of Wellington. And the entrance is over here. Well, let's head in. Choose my beer. Special Young's. I think a Young's bitter. This is a local lager, hazy IPA. I want well, like a bitter, if that's okay. Bitter? Yeah. Have you got Young's bitter? Yeah. Thank you. I think we deserve another one, Rhonda. Do you want another one? I think I've so. finished. Let's go. Let's have another one. And then we'll move on. You're done as well? I'm done. Yeah. Well, I'm done with drink. Right. I'm not done, done. Well, that was an awesome stop. Two beers, actually, we had in there. This motorbike's a bit noisy. So we are now on Portobello Road. It's a nice area to go shopping, for sure. Look at the buildings. Very, very London. Typical London buildings. And here is the travel book shop. From the movie Notting Hill, starring Hugh Grant and Julia Roberts. But is it actually the, the shop from the movie? So we're just on a side street now off Portobello Road. And here is the actual bookstore that they used in the movie, Notting Hill. So, Rhonda, we saw both bookstores. Yes. One is real, one is not real. I'm going to tell you which one is real right now. Don't stop the video. Watch it. Here it is. This is the real one. People go to the other one because it says travel books on it. But... This is the actual bookstore right there. And it's just off Portobello Road. It's a Monday, so the market that's usually a street market is not really happening today. Not this end, anyway. That is one cool-looking old London pub. There's a couple of jewellery stalls here. Just a lovely street down here. Look at these nice uh, alleyways and yards. These are all over downtown London. Really cool. So we've decided, now we've seen Portobello Road and the market, that we are gonna walk back to the Paddington area where we're staying. And we're going to make it a pub crawl. Are we? We are. Oh, you guys have seen our pub crawls. That's going to be dangerous. So it's like uh, an hour's walk, but we'll stop at pubs on the way. And the first one is going to be right here. The Earl of Lonsdale. That's where we're going to stop. Look at the taxi. There's a white London taxi. I thought they were all black. Obviously, there's some other colours. Because <laughs> right here, there's a silver one. So they're not all black. Okay, we're going to go in this pub here. Earl of Lonsdale. Let's go. It's another good old-fashioned pub. And the good thing about this pub is it sells Sam Smith's 
beers. Sam Smith's, Samuel Smith's, is a brewery from Yorkshire, which is where I'm from, so this is good. This is like local beer to me. It's across from there to go to another part of the pub. Oh, yeah. Little tiny crawl door. Same on this side. All right. So weird. Yeah, go that way, Rhonda. Go to the other side of the pub. Look at this. To get from one side of the pub to the other, you've got to duck down and go through. That is so weird. That is weird. Okay. Just wait to get served here and grab a beer. So here it is. There's a pint of Samuel Smith's Yorkshire beer. Yorkshire bitter. Look at the. It's the Yorkshire's oldest brewery. Established in 1758. That's pretty old. That's crazy. Let's have a drink of that. And we're also going to have some double cooked pork crackling. I'll show you those in a second. And Ron is having some dry roast peanuts. That is a pork crackling. Look at this. Fried pork skin, basically. Lovely. Seasoned really well. Let's try one of these suckers. Mm. So crunchy. If any dentists are watching this, I'm sorry. I know these are really, really bad for your teeth because they can break your teeth. They're so hard, but man, they're tasty. Mmm. And go especially well with a pint of Yorkshire Bitter. Cheers. Oh, Rhonda's heading to the washroom through the mini door. So weird. You have to use those doors. There's like four of them around the pub. You have to use them to get to the toilets, which is over the far side of the bar over there. Like way over there, the far side. So that pub was kind of okay the only good thing about the pub was it sold Yorkshire beer other than that it wasn't the greatest but we're gonna soldier on and head on and we're walking through uh, downtown Notting Hill and try and find the next one Amazon of course Amazon is everywhere worldwide so we'll carry on down here and find the next pub. The streets in London are just lovely, aren't they, Rhonda? Gorgeous. They've got street trees everywhere. Yeah, it's gorgeous. so green. London, you would think you're in the middle of a city. It's going to be uh, well, walk pretty... Down these, like side streets and they look amazing. Yeah. There's literally trees mature, like old, old trees everywhere, aren't there? Yeah, but the buildings, look at the tulip trees coming up. I like, know. They're gorgeous. Yeah, it's certainly lovely walking around. Absolutely. So I'm following Google Maps to the next nearest pub en route, back to Paddington. And it's sending us down this little side street. We're lucky enough that every time we leave a pub to go to the next one, it stopped raining. Yes, we have. Oh, here we go. Lucky. Here we go. This one's called the Cock and Bottle. The Cock and Bottle. Yeah, it's open, so let's get inside the Cock and Bottle and let's get a beer from the Cock. <laughs> so that's a pint of Timothy Taylor's Landlord Bitter. I'm not just going for wine. That's it, thanks. So it's another good oldie worldy pub, as they all are in London, of course. <laughs> this one's about a quarter way walk back to Paddington Station, and I'll try my Timothy Taylor's Landlord Bitter. Should be good. <laughs> I brought plenty of uh, UK pounds with me, thinking we could spend them everywhere. 
You know, most places we've been in, like this place, look at it. You see the little sign on the bar there? We are cashless. You cannot spend cash in an English pub. <laughs> Look at the woodwork around this old bar. Is that not amazing? What a beautiful bar, eh? Uh oh, Ron has found a new buddy. Oh, uh, the dogs love a bag of potato chips. Sorry, crisps. We're in England, it's crisps. We are in England and they are crisps. <laughs> so that was a really good stock Rhonda. You yep. almost brought a dog home with you. Oh yeah, that Springer Spaniel was coming home with me, but Glenn wouldn't let me. Oh. Oh, it's gorgeous. He you, was were, gorgeous. you were in love, weren't you? Oh, it just sat with me the whole time and I did his ears and I rubbed him and oh my God, it was amazing. Yeah, so now we're just carrying on, walking through. Uh, actually, I think we're out. Oh, there's our, there's our bus, 23 yep, look. 23. That we took. I think we're out of Notting Hill now. I think we're in another area. I remember driving by here when we came on the bus. Yeah, we did. We're not. There's Notting Hill on that sign on the building. We're still in Notting Hill. Oh yeah, we are. And we're halfway back to Pannington. The buildings are so cool. That one has been rebuilt. I hope they're going to keep it in a traditional style when they rebuild it. I just looked around and I see no Rhonda. I left her behind. Oh, she's coming across the crosswalk. There she is. She's just filming me. Stop filming me, filming you. I don't do red lights. <laughs> right? Okay, we're going this way. This is Kensington Garden Square. Every house, they're all attached, obviously. Every house has got the ground floor, the main entrance. And then you can see one, two, three, and then story on the roof. There's four stories above. And every house has steps going down to a basement. And in days gone by, the basement used to be the servants' quarters. So these were really, really well-to-do houses, properties. And you know they're well to do because we are in the city of Westminster and the code is W2, West 2 in London, W1 and W2 areas are the most expensive properties, the most high end, the most sought after. Although we're in central London, it is so quiet. Nobody's out in the streets, Rhonda. Oh, it's so quiet. And there should be a pub as we come around this corner. And there it is. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, that's the, the Prince Albert pub. So, Rhonda, let's go. This is the next one. Prince Albert, let's go in this one and have yet another beer on our London pub crawl the Prince Albert I'm going to choose my beer not sure what to have Rhonda is trying Rose's Pig cider, how is it? you like it? let me see what else beers they've got it's a very small bar this one compared to the other pubs we've been in isn't it? Anyway, here we are. Upstairs too, though. Oh, there is, yeah. Yeah. So we have found our table, and here's my pint in a proper beer mug of Timmy Taylor's Landlord Bitter. And we are going to play Dominoes. Let's have a game of Dominoes, Rhonda. Let's play!
Why are you packing away, Rhonda? What happened? I lost. Oh no. We played three games, I lost. That was fun though. It was fun. These are our dominoes, they're not the pubs. We bring them on holiday. Yeah, we carry them around with us on holiday. They're very lightweight. And we like a game of dominoes now and again. Well, Rhonda. Yes. That was a good pub. That was good. Yeah. We've, been, we've been out so long walking around Ooh. central London, yes. it's now getting dark and almost. It's been a beautiful day. Yeah. Okay, so we've been walking 20 minutes through the suburbs, and here is the Cleveland Arms, where the lights are on there. Okay, Rhonda, you have to go and we have to go and check this one out. Is that where we're going? Yeah. Okay, let's, go. let's check it out. I am switching to a lager. Ron's got a table. Hey, how many people are joining us? We got like six people coming. Right? Rhonda likes the comfy bench seats. It's definitely not comfy, it's rock hard. Oh, it's rock hard, okay. Well, it's, it's like a library in there. Okay, so before we go back to the hotel, we have to eat. We are absolutely starving hungry. We are gonna eat at the Flavors, the Flavors of India restaurant. This is pretty close to our hotel at Paddington. Good evening, sir. How are you? Can we come in, please? Yeah, let's go in. And we'll have a meal in here. As we start with every Indian meal with some beautiful... Oh, those are gorgeous. Look at that brown. Oh, Yum. they're awesome. Poppadums. And we simply break it. And then we're going to dip into this... What's this one, Rhonda? Lime. What's... That's a lime like chutney. Oh, mint. Sorry, mint. Mint. Yeah, but I think there is lime in there. There's definitely lime in yeah, there. Yeah, I think it's it's mint. lime and mint. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Lime, mint, and. Ooh. Chili. Spicy. That's spicy. This is beautiful, though. Mmm. Love it. So, here's the meal. We got. One chicken, I forget the name, Rhonda. Anyway, it's a very hot chicken starter dish. That is a chicken jalfrezi. We got some chicken tikka. And then chili garlic naan. Yum, yum, yum. This looks awesome. Well, that was a fantastic meal. Here's my new best friend in London my buddy hey buddy thank you for serving us that meal that was really tasty and we will be back again if we're ever in this part of London again okay good night sir well we set off at 10 o'clock this morning it's now 10 o'clock in the evening and we're just on our way back to the hotel that has been one busy day we have walked uh, literally miles and miles around London, the suburbs. And here we are. It started to rain actually. It's quite cold and windy. But we made it back. Hilton, London, Paddington. Here we go. If you followed this video and you liked it, hit that thumbs up. Give us a subscribe and do not forget to hit that bell because when you hit that bell, you're going to know where we're going and we've got some awesome video coming up. We do. We are going to some pretty awesome places in the next little while. So keep watching. And we love all you guys.